y'all. It's Shay. Happy Monday morning. Um, and what's more fitting than unboxing and showing you a craftably painting called Monday Morning? Um, I thought it's a great uh, start to a Monday. It's beautiful to see something that's on the farm and it's very fall. So fall's coming. And just kind of see the work that's done on a farm on a beautiful Monday morning. So let's take a look at this. All I've done so far, just to kind of take out some of the steps, um, obviously, you know, the telescoping tube has plastic around it with a little gold tie. Took that off, uh, dust bag, took that off, little piece of tape, got everything ready to go. Got our paperwork all off of the tube. So I've got everything we need right here. All right, so let's go ahead and start by looking at what you receive from Craftably. You do get a welcome letter and it shows everything that comes in the kit, okay? And on the other side are how to diamond paint instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. And then here's the image. Look at this, y'all. Monday morning, it's beautiful. So let me give you the details on this painting. So it is a licensed piece and it is by David Roddinghouse. It's a round with one rhinestone and one AB, 71 colors. It's a 56 by 24 in inches or 142 by 61 in centimeters. Okay, so again, beautiful, beautiful picture. We'll get more into it as we uh, look at it, but you've got, you know, here it is a Monday morning on a farm. You've got a couple of children over here playing, staying out of their parents' way. <laughs> You've got the truck here. It looks like they're going to a market. They've got their pumpkins ready to sell and they've got some bushels with some apples. You've got the mother here hanging up clothes on the clothesline. You've got the barn. So yeah, a lot going on, but what a beautiful image. I love this one, so I really wanted to show it to you guys. So let's go ahead and look at everything else that comes with it. You do get peel and stick labels. They are individually cut. So you just peel them right off and put them on your storage containers. And then you have your soft burlap bag that holds your toolkit and all the other goodies. So in your toolkit, it does consist of a white tray, okay? And y'all have seen this all before. So I'll just kind of slide it out. I think everything's on there already. Yep, so you get your white tray, you get a pink plate of wax, you get a pen with a four placer, a squishy for your pen, an additional four placer, a seven placer, a pair of tweezers, so you get a lot in here, plus two additional pots of pink wax that are branded. Okay, that's one of them. And there's the second one. So gosh, they, do, they sure do give you a lot, y'all. And then you get two random rolls of washi tape, Oh, look at this one. It looks like we got a Christmas one. It's got some snowflakes on it. And I like this black and white one. Those are really nice. And then you get a random cover minder. Oh, look, look at this little guy. We got the little white raindrop. I've seen him in all different colors, but here's the white one. He's so cute. So really strong magnets on here. So that's our cover minder. All right, let's go ahead and get into the kit and see what this beauty looks like. Okay, so everything you saw that I just showed you, everything comes in this telescoping tube, okay? And it does have the strap, which is really nice. And it also has a tag at the bottom that shows you a picture of the image and has some of the details. So that's really nice. And like I said, it is telescoping, so it just comes out. It's very nice. All right, y'all ready for the drill? Reveal. Let's do it, okay? Let's do this. Ooh, those are some fall colors. Look at those. We got some yellows and oranges and browns. Yes. Wow. Oh, look at this. Now, sometimes when I open up the pack, I see the rhinestone and the ABs first, but I haven't seen that yet. Look at these colors. Oh, I love them. Got a little bit of pink. I wonder where that's gonna go. A little bit of lime green. Okay, so that's our first bag, okay? Now these are individually bagged and they are in order. So you can we can work straight out of baggies if you choose not to kit up, okay? So there's one bag. Let's go ahead and get our other bag out because there is 71 colors. Oh, there we go, y'all, look at that. I see something shiny. 
There's our, for our rhinestone is a ruby red rhinestone. And then the AB is a white. I can see it right there. So let's see what else we've got. We've also got some other browns and some maroons and other colors of oranges. Oh, look at that yellow, that orange. Another color orange. Oh, these are great. Look at these blues. I wonder if that's gonna be some in the water or the sky. Oh, another blue. Wow. I really love this painting, it's beautiful. And again, individually bagged. Okay, so those are our two packs of drills. Let's go ahead and roll this backwards. Since it is poured glue, you can do that, all right? Have y'all heard that before? <laughs> all right, let's just roll it backwards. So I hope y'all are having a good Monday morning or Monday afternoon. I'm not sure if you're gonna be watching this on Monday. If you're watching it on Tuesday, hope you had a good Monday. Good, good start of the week. Okay. And Craftably's got this sparkle to the kit, to the canvas. It's beautiful. You can really see it sparkle in the lighting. Okay. So we've got it rolled backwards. So let's go ahead. And y'all ready to see this? Let's roll it out. What a beautiful Monday morning, fall morning. Look at this. I will try to get as much as I can into frame. I'll just kind of work my way from one side to the other as we look at where the rhinestone and the ABs will go. But look at this. Let me see if I can zoom you out a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Oh, it's gorgeous. So again, starting over here, you've got you know a couple children right here. Their kids are playing. You've got a bridge here. There's a windmill, beautiful fall trees. There's the barn. And there's a fence, a white fence that goes all the way around. You've got their house with these be this beautiful tree back here. Like I said, you've got the truck here. It looks like they're getting ready to go to market, maybe to sell some things. They've got their pumpkins and their apples. And then here's the, the mother over here doing laundry, hanging up the clothes on the clothes under the sheets, it looks like. And there's their mailbox. Got another fence, another beautiful tree. Look at the look at the sun rising. Look at that. Oh, I love this painting. I love all the paintings that have trucks with pumpkins. I'm noticing that. <laughs> I really do. I'm ready for fall. Let's go ahead and see. So the rhinestone, like I said, is this ruby red rhinestone. So let's see where this red rhinestone goes, okay? So let's start off at this end of the painting and work our way over. So I do see some over here in this tree right here, some of this red sprinkled here. I do see some over here in this part of the red of this tree, some over here. So there will be some in the red, okay? I also see some in the barn. Got some here and surrounding here, here and here. Outlining this area, going all, there's a lot up here in the peak right here of the barn. There's some more over here. Uh, let's see if there's any in any of the trees. The tree over here, I don't see any red, bright red, okay. Work our way down. I do see some down here in the apples. Yep, there's some over here sprinkled in the apples. That's gonna be really pretty. Okay, and then over here, the flowers down here, sorry about the glare. All the red flowers, let me bring you up a little bit. The red flowers all here under the mailbox, all these red flowers will be the red rhinestones. And let's check this tree. This tree, I do see some. Yep, there are a few sprinkled in here. I see some right here and a few right here. 
Okay, so that's gonna be really nice. The red rhinestones are placed just kind of sporadically throughout in the areas I think they need to be, so I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, next we have our AB, and it's a white AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's a special coating they put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. It's quite a big bag of them, so let's see where the white ABs go. It is the bullseye symbol. So I do see some uh, over here in the children. I see some right here. Some sprinkled down here. There is some in the windmill up here in the top. There's some in the barn outlining this area, outlining this entire door, outlining all of this, outlining all of this. This is going to look really good and this area. Okay, so that's the barn's really gonna have that white AB in it. Let's see where else I see it. I don't see it in the tree. I'm looking in the tree over here. Okay, just kind of taking my time, walking down through the painting. Oh, also, y'all, I just spotted it. And this white fence right here that goes from here to here, um, it's outlining uh, several parts of the fence. So here, all this right here, the fence is all going to be white ABs. This front part of the fence, this, this portion. That's going to look good. Okay. Let's see if I see any in the house. There are some in the house. Some here. Yep, there is some in the house. I see some right here. See several right here in the sky, right next to that yellow. Okay, I do see some down here. So yeah, this white AB is gonna look really good too. Okay, I do see some in the, uh, looks like sheets to me that she's hanging up on the clothesline. There'll be ABs in here. There's also going to be ABs and a fence right here, outlining all these areas that I'm pointing at. So you'll be white ABs in this fence. I do see a few sprinkled in this tree. Okay, so that's it for the rhinestone and the AB. Let's go ahead and check a few things. Let's check for stickiness. Yep, very sticky. And of course, we've got a legend up here on the top left, and there's a legend over on the other side on the bottom right, right over here. And we've got the thumbnail right here on this side with the name of the painting and the artist. Let's look at the drill field. Let's go ahead and bring up the truck with the pumpkins. Let's look and see how the pumpkins look. Can y'all see that? Very clear. Lots of oranges and yellows. Let's look at the apples. Yeah, everything looks really clear. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this one, y'all. I'm so happy it fall's coming. It's still pretty hot here in Texas, but once school starts, I know fall's coming. That's kind of the clue. Uh, we'll get there as far as fall weather is concerned. Sometimes it takes some time. Even, you know, during Halloween, sometimes it gets really hot, but we'll get there. So if y'all have any questions or anything about this painting, please let me know. But I thought it was fitting to show this on a Monday morning, okay? So thank y'all for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a subscribe button down below. Also notification bell, if you click on both of those, you'll be a subscriber of mine and you'll be notified every time I post a video. If y'all have already subscribed, thank you very, very much. Um, I really appreciate it. And if y'all enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And that's it for this one. Um, I will do my Tuesday untubings, which I always do on Tuesdays, so you'll see two more craftablies. I did have some special requests from a couple of subscribers, so I'll be showing two paintings that people have requested. And that's it, okay? Y'all take care of yourselves. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.